Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this evening party seed beads earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't. In this way you will know when I make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions. Share your beautiful designs that you did following me on my Facebook page. I will be so happy to see them. Check description for useful resources. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads. I'm using this really dark blue color, a silver color, a white color. These are earring findings. And this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size of monofilament or other thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I take here on my needle are 18 beads. I take two dark beads and one white and I repeat this sequence six times. In this way I have 12 dark beads and six white beads in between them and they are 18 in total. Okay and uh, pause on this video, pick those up and after that we continue. I slide those down, I stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it by making a loop then going twice through the loop I've made then I pull and I have this and just to be sure it's all tight and secure I want to make one more knot okay and I have this beautiful circle of beads here. After that I'm going through these two dark beads and I want to exit out of a white bead. And I take five of those beautiful silver beads, okay, five of those and as I'm exiting from this white I'm going in the next white bead. I skip the two dark beads and go in the next. Then I repeat this, I take five beads, I skip the two dark beads and I go through the white one. Okay, five again. Five. And this is what I do until the end of this row. Okay, and I'm ready with this row. Now what I do is that I go through two silver beads in this direction. Okay, and as I'm exiting here from the second silver, what I take is a dark, a silver, a white, a silver and a dark. And I skip here the next bead that's on my way and I go through the following. So when I pull, I have this. Then I take 
just one dark bead and I go again through the second silver counting from the center and I take the same sequence as before a darker silver a whiter silver and a dark I skip here the central bead and I go through the following one dark and I go in the next bead that is second again from counting from the center okay and I will continue adding absolutely the same sequence until the end of this row guys Okay, and here at my last step I also go through the second silver don't make the mistake to go through the next bead then in my next step guys I'm going through this dark bead and through the next silver bead and I want to add five silver beads here and as I'm exiting from this silver I'm going in the other silver here then in my next step I'm also going through this dark bead after the silvers and I'm taking a dark a white and a dark and I go in this dark bead which is next to the silver then what I do is that I go in the next silver and I'm taking five silver beads I skip the white here in the center and I go through the following silver then also through the dark bead after that I take a dark a white and a dark and I go through this dark and this silver together just to save time to save one movement and I take five silver beads I skip the white one and I go through the following silver and dark again just to save time I'm going through both of them and I take again the same sequence and I also go here in the dark and in the silver in one or two movements okay now guys I will continue what I showed you here from the other side of my work if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat it one more time from here when you're ready I'll meet you at this side okay my friends and here I am at the last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and I also went through the next three silver beads and I need three dark beads I skip here the central bead and I go through the following silver okay 
okay and I have here four beads and as I'm exiting from this silver the third one counting from the center I'm going here in this white bead okay I have four beads again and I go one two three through the third silver counting from the center take three dark beads skip the one that is sticking out the most and go through the following four beads again and go in this white bead here the central white four go in this silver which is the third one counting from the center three dark beads skip the central one and go through the following four darks and go here in the white in the center okay guys and i'm gonna continue this until the end four three four four three four if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat these steps from here and i'll meet you at this point okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last four beads from this row and don't worry that now your work bends a little bit we'll fix it later okay now i want to go through all of those beads here then i exit through the silver and the two blacks after that two dark beads sorry okay so i'm two dark beads away from here and two dark beads away from the white bead and i need two white beads and i go here in the same place two dark beads away from the white in the center now i'm exiting out of this dark bead and what i need to take next are nine silver beads i take them and i slide them down then what i do is that i skip here all of those beads and go in the same place through the second dart counting from here and two dark beads away from the white here okay this is what i have i need two white beads go through the third uh, dark counting from this white in the center absolutely the same place as i passed before okay then again nine nine beads and i skip this whole thing and go in the same place through the second dark counting from the silver and through the third dark counting from the white center in the center okay two white beads go in the same place and then i take nine again okay and in the same place okay guys and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next 
Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last silver row. Add it again through the second dark bead counting from here. Then in my next step, I'm going through these two white beads. Take three white beads and go back in circle through these whites. And then I also went through the dark bead after that. Now I have this. Then I want to go through the next two silver beads. Take one dark bead and go back in circle through this one that I'm going backwards through and through the next three, so through four beads in total. Now I'm exiting out of the middle of these nine beads that I have here. How I know this one is the middle? Because here I have one, two, three, four. Here I also have one, two, three, four. So this is the middle one that I'm exiting out of. And I take two dark beads and I go back through this middle one that I have here. This is what I have now. Then I go through three beads in this direction. And take just one dark bead. Then go back through this second silver bead. Through the next one and through the dark after that. Okay. Then I'm going through the following two white beads. Take three whites, go back in circle through this two and the next dark one. And I also went through the following silver. And what I want to do is exit out of the second silver here. Okay, this one. And I'm taking just one dark bead. Go back through this one and through four more of those silver beads. So through this one, I'm exiting out of back in circle and through the next three. So through four in total. Now again, I'm in the middle of these nine beads. And I go back in circle through this middle bead. Then I go through three more beads in this direction. I'm exiting out of the second silver counting from here. And I take one dark bead and I go backwards through this silver and through the following and through the dark one after that. Then I go in the next two white beads, take three whites, go back the same way and I'm aiming for the second silver. If you cannot do this in one movement, do it in two or more. I just want to save time and exit directly up out of this second silver. Then I take one dark, go back in circle through this one and through three more. So through four in total. Again, I'm situated exiting out of the middle silver bead, take two dark beads, go back through this one and through three more. So again, through four beads in total. One dark and go like this. 
Now I will continue the same steps until the end and I'll meet you here. If you forget how I'm doing them, just rewind the video and see these steps and repeat them from here. Okay, pause this video, do this and meet me. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last dark bead from this row. Now what I want to do is go in this direction and through these two white beads. And then I went back backwards through these two white beads and I'm exiting now out of the middle white bead that I have here. Then I'm going to take two dark beads and I go in the next dark bead. Just like this. Two darks again and I go in these two that I added here at the top. I take two beads again, go in this dark one here that is sticking out. Two dark ones. just like this, two again, two more, again two, and this row guys is really pleasant and really easy because I add two beads and just connect and fill in the holes, okay? I think you get the idea and you will be able to do it by yourself. Just fill in the holes with two beads everywhere and I'll meet you here at this side. Okay guys, and I'm adding here the last two beads that I have in this row and what I'm going to do next is go in this direction through seven dark beads. Okay, I'm going through seven beads here. And I'm going to take two silver beads, my earring finding and two silver beads. And what I do is that I go back in circle through these two central beads of this row of darks. Now I have this one attached and I want to reinforce it. Okay, and after I reinforce it, I want to find a place to make a knot. And I'm going here in this direction. And here what I want to do is to make my knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, first I make a loop. Then I go twice through the loop I've made 
I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread and now my earring is ready. Okay guys and now my evening party earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. Thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Check description for useful resources full list of materials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.